We all know that every great flight starts with a thorough pre-flight inspection. But ask yourself, are you really equipped well to inspect your plane to keep you and your passengers safe? It's my opinion, the most important tool during your pre-flight inspection is your eyes. But I'm here to tell you that our eyes cannot do it alone. There are tons of potential issues that can be hiding in the darkness. If you wanna have a chance at spotting small issues, before they grow into flight stopping problems, well then it's time to turn up the brightness. That's right, I've recently come to learn that a great flashlight is priceless in aviation. And thankfully, it's a tool that doesn't carry the classic high cost of aviation along with it. By the way, welcome back to My Time to Fly. If it's your first time here, you found a place where we discover the real world of general aviation. Don't hesitate to click that like button or even subscribe to come back for more general aviation content. So some of you might tell me that you're all good. Your phone works just as good as a flashlight. I'm here to tell you there are much better options that will allow you to inspect your airplane faster and with more detail. A while back, I decided it was time, time to jump into the world of flashlights, specifically for the airplane. I first purchased a very inexpensive light from good old Harbor Freight, thinking I was taking a step in the right direction. It was okay for the price, but certainly didn't overly impress me. Because it was only a marginal improvement over my phone, it was fairly big and bulky and wasn't rechargeable. The Harbor Freight flashlight quickly got stowed in the baggage compartment and I reverted back to the classic iPhone for illumination. From that experience, it became clear that I did not fully understand what I needed before purchasing. It wasn't until I was introduced to a better solution that I realized how much I had been missing out. Into my life came this pen flashlight. This happens to be a P2R work from Leadlenser. Now, there are many other flashlights in the market. I'm not suggesting what is the best for you. This just happens to be one that I found during a recent trade show. I knew I was in the market for a better light and I went and talked with one of their customer success specialists and happened to walk away with this light. Honestly, when I got home with it, it sat in the box for a little while. I wasn't really sure how I was gonna use it. But after I took it out of the box, maybe a week later, I finally realized what I had been missing out on. Now, I don't go anywhere without this thing. It makes a world of difference both in the airplane and in my personal life. It's small, compact, rechargeable, it's a piece of cake. and I couldn't fly or live without it. So let's just hop outside of the airplane and take a look at a couple places where this light makes pre-flight inspection way better. Okay, so first and foremost, this black hole. There's one on each side on the Mooney, right? We're up at the front engine compartment. This is the back of the engine. Uh, the cord you see pull, plugged in there is my heater. It's not on right now, but we have it hooked up to a switch box so we can turn it on. And you're probably getting a little bit of an advantage because this camera can open its uh, aperture and really gain, gain some light in there. But for me, it's almost pitch black. Just this little flashlight on low, what a difference that makes. Now there are three settings on the flashlight. So if I need a little bit more ampli amplification, I just turn it up a little bit and I can dig deep down into the bowels. You know, looking for oil leaks or chafing wires or missing scat tubing or anything that might not lead to a successful flight. This is another place I go look really quickly. I'm always checking up here for birds. At least where I live, we've got tons of birds that love to build nests in airplanes. So we check both sides looking for any sign of bird activity. So those are the first two places that I would definitely use a light on a pre-flight inspection. Another good place to have a flashlight when you're inspecting an airplane is the gear, and for me, the gear wells. Here, it's really nice to be able to turn on the light and inspect for hydraulic fluid or brake fluid that may be leaking, um, checking overall condition, and then of course, getting up inside of these dark gear wells, looking at my all my gear linkage and checking for potential damage. Don't mind the missing paint. Another spot that's critical on the Mooney anyways, 
Back here at the tail. You can see inside of here are definitely important things and I'm having a hard time seeing in there. So by using this little light, you can get down and inspect all your tube ends. Anything that you need to see, you can easily see. And the nice part with such a small light is you can really dig down in there and take a look. Just don't drop it. Another neat thing you can do with a flashlight is put it down here in the bottom of the cowling. You can see I've got it rested on my cowl flaps, pointed directly up. And I've got it on its highest intensity. Then you can come around to the front and look for any light peeking through. Now I'd, I'd probably check it on both sides and you will actually want it to be pretty dark in here. But if you can see light coming through, there's a good chance you've got some air leaking in your baffling, hurting your cooling performance. The last specific place I wanna point out on the Mooney is checking fuel. You can certainly see the fuel level inside of the tank, especially right now because it's full and there's a light above us. But once that fuel level drops down a couple inches, it can be really hard, even with outside light because the opening's so small. So with a flashlight, it's so much easier to actually see the height. And if you have or carry a tape measure or a little ruler, uh, then you can actually measure how far down it is. Of course, they make fuel sticks too, although I don't think they make them for the Mooney uh, for checking overall fuel. Well, I hope I've given you an idea or two on how a flashlight, a good flashlight, can make a big difference in doing a pre-flight inspection. It's pretty darn cold out here, so I'm going to wrap this one up for now. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you go find your time to fly.